Hey, what's up? It's your boy Charles Young. You know, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. Uh, great website if you want to, you know, motivational speaking, comedy. Want to help people uplift them. So let's get into it. All right. One thing I want to talk about is um, stop being nosy. Okay. And the reason why I say that is, you know, a lot of the time we're in other people's business and we don't stay in our own business. You know, we don't even understand our own business. Why do we talk about so many other people? You know, this person got this. You know, this person got that. What does that do for you if you don't have it? What does that do? What what great does it do you to talk about an individual who has something more than what you do? Why don't you go out there and get it? You know what I'm saying? We sit back and we call people negative things. We call them gay. We call them stupid. We call them wack. We call them dumb. And a lot of you uh, YouTube gangsters, man, you always want to talk that, that whoop whoop. I do this to my... You know, stop it. Stop it. You don't know what that person's uh, what that person's going through. You know what I'm saying? You you sit back and you want to talk about this individual. You don't know what our lives are to be. You know, right now you may see a lot of my videos as motivational speaking think, wow, he has a great life. You don't understand what I'm going through. Wow, he's a very funny person. You don't understand what I'm going through when I'm st on stage doing comedy. You don't know what my life looks like. So when you're talking about somebody, you don't really understand what that person's going through. They could be 10 seconds away from suicide. And instead of you encouraging them to say, hey, man, keep doing what you're doing and seeing the love and support, you rather call them names and stuff. And, you know, it's stupid to call a person names when you making less money than they are. That's the reason why you're probably doing it, because you're making less than them. So you think you can call them a name like gay or you can call them stupid or dumb or, you know, I'll beat their ass. You think you can say it because you're broke. But you know what? You're treating them like as as people. What if somebody came to your job because we all got one except for the people who don't got none. And so you should look at yourself right then and there and say, wow. I don't have a job, but I'm talking about Drake. I'm talking about Kanye. I'm talking about Jay-Z. But you ain't making no money. You need to be looking at yourself. And I'm, I'm just looking at the fact that, you know, we have to start realizing that we all are humans. We all make mistakes. We all are not perfect. And we're all trying to learn. It's the media that portrays us to be what we're not to be. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we can make a mistake and they blow it up to seem like it's big. I can trip. And if it gets on TMZ, oh my God, it's like the, the, the talk of the town. It doesn't make any sense. Why don't we stay in, our own, stay in our own lane in our own business? So what a person trips? You know, what makes them different from your baby falling or you falling? Nothing. The only difference is that they have a camera on them, you don't. And you're mad about it, so you decide that you want to talk about those people. You know, uh, you know, we have to start realizing that we all are humans. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how I feel. I feel like a lot of people... You know, you could be a person working at McDonald's and the customer treats you like shit. And that customer, that customer goes back to his job and somebody in the janitor who needs to get his bills paid, treat him like shit. And then the janitor goes to work and the kids treat him like shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like a process. And we forget, we fail to realize that we're humans and that we will bust your ass if we need to. You know what I'm saying? So you need to understand that. That's one of the things. So I feel like we need to stop being so nosy, stop staying in everybody's business and stop tre start treating people like humans and individuals and understanding that this person is real. It's because they're on a higher pedestal doesn't mean they're not touchable and doesn't mean they can't touch you and doesn't mean they won't have nobody come and touch you. So you really need to start looking at that. So, so that's all I'm saying, man. I mean, I just think it's a fair warning to speak on behalf of all these successful stars and everybody think that they can talk about them in a disrespectful way. Of course, as a comedian, I'd like to talk about people and stuff like that. I say a lot of funny stuff. But at the end of the day, I, I the people I make fun of is the same people that I support. So when I'm for me, when I'm making fun of them, I'm actually helping them. I know it sounds weird, but that's how the game rolls for me because I enjoy that person. I enjoy that individual. You know, I made a video about Mike Chang and Drake. Well, really, Mike Chang is a bodybuilder. So, no, so when people watch my video, I'm like, who's who's Black Chang? You know, I was like, oh, it's Mike Chang, man. This guy's a great, what's his name? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, why are you making fun of Drake? Oh, it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy is talking about it in a grocery store, but a lot of people just think that he, it's more of, it's more of I'm trying to assist instead of uh, demean this individual. So, you know, that's all I really got to say about this. Stay in your own lane, man. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, a dollar can't talk to a millionaire. A dollar has nothing to say to a millionaire. So, uh, take it how you want to. Uh, all right. My name is Charles Young. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. I appreciate you. I respect you. Whoever's watching this video and taking some advice and learning. All right. Peace.